Hello everyone. Hi nudies. Welcome back to Nude Wellness. This is the place where we strip away your limiting beliefs. I'm Selena if you're new here and I love to talk about manifesting and the law of assumption. Um, I apologize that this is not a video where you can see my face. Couple circumstances with the webcam I had ordered, ugh, but that is okay. I intend that this recording is going to be so helpful for you because it is needed. It is so needed. Um, this is going to be a very blunt and direct video. So be prepared. But I think you guys need it. So I intend that the next time I upload will actually be my face on camera. Okay. I have titled today's video, You Do Not Need to Struggle. You Don't Need to Struggle with Your Manifestation Journey. Okay. I'm going to put this simply. You should be feeling good every time you think of your desire. You should be feeling good every time you think and focus on your desire. That's amazing. The fact that that's how we create, we have a desire and we go, okay, I want that. And I'm just going to focus on the fact that I am going to get it or the fact that it is already here. And then it kind of pops into my 3D. That's how it works. So why are we making this harder than it needs to be? Why are you going back and forth between the wanted and the unwanted and making this journey so much harder than it needs to be? Stop falling victim to your circumstances. Stop falling into the powerless state and staying there. If you fall out of the God state or the state where the woman or man who has it all, if you fall out of that and you're having thoughts of why isn't this working? Why is this taking so long? Why haven't they messaged me? What am I doing wrong? And that's your train of thought. You've clearly fallen victim to your circumstances and you're in a victim state. You're in a powerless state. You're in a fearful state. You're in a state that you don't want to be in pretty much. What us as humans do then is we go, oh my God, I'm not in that state. I'm not, I'm, I'm feeling really crap and I'm having all these crappy thoughts. Like I must be a bad manifester. This isn't working for me. I've tried everything. And we start to lay a shame and judgment on top of the fact that we are out of this powerful state, that we aren't feeling good. We feel frustrated that this isn't working. Shift your state. Remind yourself of who the hell you are. You're above all circumstances. You're above positive circumstances and you're above negative circumstances because you are the creative force in your life. You are God. You are God. You have the power to change anything. So stop going back and forth between the wanted and the unwanted. You're going back and forth, back and forth and wavering like crazy. And then you get upset and you're like, well, why isn't it here yet? Yeah, because you are not focusing majority of the time on what you want and you're exhausting yourself and wasting all this energy that you can be using to persist in the wanted story by going back and forth and back and forth. And I get it. You may be triggered. Um, circumstances may be quite overwhelming and I understand that have your moment but you need to then decide I am fed up of feeling powerless I am fed up of wasting my energy focusing on stuff I don't want and I'm going to use this energy to be creating and focusing on things that I do want you have to make that decision no one else no coach can do that for you I can encourage you to be brave enough to go down that path because why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to feel your best? Why wouldn't you want to be focusing on your desires? Like how amazing is that? Like I said, that's how we create. We just focus on what we want. That's it. It is done. It is created. So this shouldn't be a hard process. You are making it more difficult than it needs to be. Like I said, it's okay to be triggered. It's okay to have your human moments, but you need to be fed up of feeling powerless. Focus on your state. Focus on your self-concept. The way to get back into the God state is to remind yourself of who you are. So if you feel that you have fallen out of the God state where you know you are getting everything you want, you know your manifestations are here. Okay, that's the state of mind I want you to have as your default state, your baseline state of mind, your state of consciousness, when you are not consciously manifesting and consciously saying your affirmations, doing a visualization should be, this is great. I get everything I want or I have everything that I want because I am God. I am a master at manifesting. This is so easy for me. That should be your default thinking. OK, so by monitoring your states, your state of mind, your state of consciousness throughout the day and every time you fall out of it, going back and shifting back into the God state, you will change that default state. So things won't be hard for you because your baseline is I'm chill. This is great. This is freaking exciting. I get everything I want all the time. 
So two ways to get back into the God state. One, simply remind yourself that you are God. I am God. I'm the creative force. Okay, I'm the only one with free will. No one has any choice here but me. I'm the only one deciding. Oh my God, I am a master at manifesting. It feels so freaking good. And be reminding yourself that you are God. Okay, and that's how you shift states. It's literally as simple as that. Or simply just focus on your self-concept and be saying like, I'm incredible. I'm amazing. Manifesting is so easy for me. It's pretty much the same thing by you reminding yourself of who you are as God, as a creative force, an extension of God, having the creative power, the God power within you and saying your self-concept, pretty much the same thing. You are hyping yourself up and reminding yourself of who the fuck you are. Do that as often as possible. Keep reminding yourself of who you are every time you fall out of the amazing God state, of the state of the woman or man who has it all. When you're feeling anxious, when you know that your mind is spiraling, when you know you are going down a an unwanted path. Hey, 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 come back. Remind yourself who you are. Get back to a more beneficial state. Things will shift. Have the courage to lean into what is wanted rather than what is unwanted. Okay, everyone else around you is asleep. It's easy for other people when they don't know how this universe works to just believe what the 3D is showing them and to constantly be leaning into fear. Don't be like them. Lean into the wanted. Be brave enough to not care what the circumstances are showing you, to know that you can change it and you can, but you need to stop going back and forth, back and forth, and then judging yourself when you fall out of the state, just get back into the state. That's it. That's it. Get back into the state. Focus on what you want and enjoy it. And enjoy it. This is an amazing life. You were God. You know this now, okay? You can't unlearn this information. You're manifesting whether you want to consciously or not. So if you say like, you know what? I'm going to take a break. I'm not going to consciously affirm for this anymore. I'm just going to work on myself. Okay, that's cool. Um, But you're still going to be manifesting about that topic anyway. So if you want to take a chill from consciously affirming about that topic, then two things I would suggest. One, every time you do think of that topic, you're saying to yourself, it's done. It's created. It's finished. It's done. It's taken care of. Be saying that. And then two, focus on your God state. Keep reminding yourself of who you are. That's what you want to be doing. If you don't want to be consciously affirming for a topic, you then need to be reminding yourself of who you are. Focus on your self-concept. Focus on getting back into the God state. Then everything else will be simple for you if you're feeling like, oh, I've tried everything. Yeah, but I can guarantee you, you probably have hot and cold thoughts and you are believing too much in with the 3D. You were just like, well, I can't see any movement and da 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 Yeah, stop. Just stop. You're God, okay? It's all within you. You are whole and complete already. Your manifestations and desires are an extension of you. Everything is coming from you. Yeah, you can want stuff, but nothing will complete you because it all comes from within. Why does it come from within? Because you're the creative force. You're above all circumstances, like I said. So you don't need to get attached to anything. You can enjoy life and you can enjoy your desires, but just know that I don't need anything. I can want stuff and enjoy it and enjoy the unfolding of my manifestation, enjoy my desires when they pop into my 3D, but I don't need anything. Love and happiness comes from within me because I create all that. So duh, we're G, we're good. Stop going back and forth. You do not need to struggle. You do not need to struggle. Go back, re-listen to this. A thousand times if you need to, okay? I believe in you. You should believe in yourself as well. Love yourself so much that you will not give up. To me, is the definition of self-love. Go and re-listen to my other videos as well where I talk more about this, okay? This is just a very blunt and direct loving shake for you to keep going and stop going back and forth between the new story and the old story and then getting frustrated and upset with yourself that your manifestation isn't here. Yeah, because you keep going back and forth and you keep making this journey just like harder than it needs to be and wasting energy. That's the thing. You're wasting your precious energy on focusing on the old story, which doesn't feel good. So why are you doing that? Stop. Get fed up of feeling powerless. Okay. I intend that this video was super helpful. Remember your reality, your rules. So go act like a God. Start acting like a God. Okay. Sending you so much love. Have an amazing day. You're incredible. Let's go get your shit, okay? Bye.